to each and everyone. Our current situation may have deprived us from our usual practice in conducting school programs and activities, but it cannot stop us from moving forward. I am your host, Estella Jorza. Welcome to Santa Lucia National High School's virtual kickoff program of Brigada Escuela 2021 with the theme, Pioneer Para Sa Paaralan. To start with, let us feel the presence of the Lord as we listen to a prayer. This will be followed by the Philippine National Anthem, so Bu Him and Astoria's Hymn. Played respectively. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lead me, Lord. Lead me by the hand. Help me face the rising sun. Call for me through all the pain that life may bring. There's no other hope that I can lean upon. Lead me, Lord, lead me all my life. Walk with me, walk with me across the lonely road every day. Take my arms and let your hand show me the way. Show the way to live inside your love. Lead me, Lord, all my life. You are my
Let us listen to the very dynamic and task-oriented school principal, Mrs. Cecilia R. Espina. To our internal and external stakeholders, to our barangay and PTA officials, the Solucinian staff, the parents and guardians, learners, a pleasant day to all of us. Brigada Escuela had its roots in Republic Act 8525, which was enacted during the time of Fidel Ramos. The ADAPT A School program aimed to establish volunteerism and public and private partnership in public education. Therefore, the conduct of Brigada Escuela is very beneficial to school community, especially to the school heads, learners, and teachers. It is in this area that effectivity of the school to establish functional linkage and networking to stakeholders is being tested. So, my warmest welcome to everyone to this year's Brigada Escuela. God bless us all and stay safe. Are you familiar with the song, We Are the World? It was written and popularized a long time ago, but its message is still applicable today. With the global pandemic that we are experiencing now, may we all find the courage to say, We Are the World. And to remind us of how meaningful the song was, here are the talented teachers of Santa Lucia National High School in their we own rendition the of We Are the World. We are the children. We are. There comes a time when we hear the certain call When the world must come together as one There are people dying And it's time to lend a hand To life, the greatest gift of all We can go on Pretending day by day We taught someone Somewhere So make a change We are All a part of God's great big family And the truth You know love is all we need We are the world We are the children we are the ones who make a brighter day So let's start giving There's a choice we're making We're saving all the lives It's true, we'll make a better day Just you and me Oh, send them your heart So they know that someone cares their lives will be stronger and free as God has shown us by turning stones to bread and so we all must learn to help we can we are the world we are the children we are the ones who make a better day so let's start giving there's a choice for many can we're saving all the life it's true make a better day it's true when you're 
done and not there seems no hope at all but if you just believe there's no way we can fall well we'll grow up let's realize the chance can only come when we stand together as one It sure will make a better day, just you and me. We are the world, we are the world, we are the children, we are the children, we are the ones who make a better day, so let's all believe it. There's a choice for me, there's a choice for saving our own lives. It sure will make a better day, just you and me. relationship between the school and the community breeds a strong and productive linkage. Over the years, we have enjoyed the support of our local government unit and other stakeholders in our different programs and projects. Today, as we launch the Brigada Escuela for school year 2021-2022, we are very grateful for their continued support. So at this point, let us hear the messages of support from the Municipal Mayor of Asturias, Honorable Jose Antonio Pintor and from the school's PTA president, Mr. Rosalio Baflor, Sr. Good day, everyone. I would like to commend the Department of Education and the people who are instrumental to this activity success in their effort to launch 2021 Brigada Escuela with the theme Bayanihan sa Parlan on the forthcoming opening of classes this coming September. Taking into consideration the current health crisis we have been dealing with, you somehow perceive ways to successfully bring fourth basic quality education available to the children by means of alternative learning in the comfort of their homes, not compromising their health. To the teachers of Astores North District, thank you very much for the undying effort you have contributed that somehow alleviates the enormous challenge our country is tackling right now. To the pupils who are facing this world's challenge of the new setup of learning, good luck and Godspeed. Adlaw sa tanan o si Leo Baflor, kasamtangan ng PTA President sa Santa Lucia National High School, Santa Lucia Astoria, Cebu. Akong pag-auhag sa tanan sa pag-anunay uh, na mapinantayon sa panglawas. Stay safe ang tanan ng pandemya ng pagkita ko karon sa tuang kalibutan o tumod lagi ni ining ato ang uh, maabot nga ang bukas na sa sa atong eskwelahan na sa buhay 2021-2022 na may pasiugda na usap ang atong gobyerno bisan pa man sa mga Kulian ng pagkakabo, natuman di hapon o nakalayon di hapon ang edukasyon. So, kaba, uh, kung 
pagi ini, doon na kita'y ipasiudahan ng uh, Brigada Eskwela. Uh, bisan pa man, dilit na magkaabot-abot ng mga maging mga ginikanan, binhinining atong eskwelahan sa Santa Lucia National High School, na bang ipanigamutan sa mga tagdumala, sa mga maestra, kauban na ilahang principal, na baptikon kayo, na naningkamot, na bisan pa man sa mga kakulian, maghigayon ngayon kineng mong brigada eskwela. So salamat ini mga makugihon o mga buutan ng mga magtutudlo na naningkamot sa pagpahigayon bisan pa man sa ilang kaugalingong problema apan sila naningkamot ni hapon aron lang o alang sa edukasyon sa mga kabataan so akong hangyo usap sa mga ginikanan na padayon sa pagsuporta na binagyongan ito sa mga kabataan na atong iba iskwela yun yung mga iskwilahan aron usap sila magkakampot o magkakakon sa umaabot na niya nila nga pinabuhi sila po magatuman yun yung mga limuhatong alam sa kayuhan sa katilingban mga higsuunan ako na mga Pilipino o tanan na binagyong sa mga sa Santa Lucia sa nasakpan ining maong uh, tulungan naot nga dili ta magbakulik kon unsa man ang ikinhanglan na suporta alang ining maong uh, eskwelahan padayon kita isan pa man sa mga kalisdanan o mga problema na moabot sa atong uh, sa tagsa sa kinabuhi atong ihangad Nagto sa labaw na magagadahong ang tanan na itong haaguman karon May siyara ang mga tabang na ito. Wala na ilahin pa. O hinaot. O ko, nanaat mo sa luwas na kahimtang karon Naghang salamat o mga ayong adlaw pag-usap. The success of Brigada Escuela is a product of collaboration and good implementation. To tell us more about it, let us hear the message of our school principal, Mrs. Cecilia R. Espina. My warmest greetings to everyone. It is my pleasure to inform everybody that Santa Lucia National High School is striving hard to deliver the basic education to our learners. Despite the crisis, we are facing this very moment and I would like to thank our stakeholders for always supporting us in various ways so as the lead person in this institution I do hereby sincerely commit to fully support the Department of Education their programs projects and activities, especially this Brigada Escuela, which is designed for the improvement of the well-being of the school and the learners at large. Thank you so much. Brigada Escuela has a wide scope, and to enlighten us on its implementing guidelines this school year, Let's welcome on screen the very responsible and diligent Brigada Escuela Coordinator of Santa Lucia National High School, Mr. Raymond C. Barberos. Good day, everyone, especially to our parents, students, teachers, and stakeholders who are now watching and listening to our virtual kickoff program. Today, I'm going to discuss to you the 2021 Brigada Escuela Implementing Guidelines Republic of the Philippines Department of Education DepEd Memorandum Number 048 Series of 2021 Dated August 2, 2021 2021 Brigada Escuela Implementing Guidelines 2. Under Secretaries, Assistant Secretaries, Minister, Basic, 
Higher and Technical Education, BARMM, Bureau and Service Directors, Regional Directors, Schools Division Superintendents, Public Elementary and Secondary School Heads, all other concerned. Number one, the Department of Education and its commitment to ensure that education must continue amidst the challenges and uncertainties of face-to-face -face classes brought by coronavirus disease 2020-19 COVID-19 shall formally open school year 2021 to 2022 pursuant to Republic Act number 1140 480. The President, upon the recommendation of the Secretary, has approved school year 2021-2022 to open on September 13, 2021. In number two, in preparation for the opening of classes, the Brigada Escuela program shall be implemented from August 3 to September 30, 2021 with focus on collaboration and strengthening partnership engagement that complement DepEd efforts to implement the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan or BELCP and to ensure the delivery of quality basic education notwithstanding the COVID-19 pandemic. Number three, the slogan of Brigada Escuela Bayanihan para sa paralan shall be adopted as the theme for this year's to emphasize the country's collective efforts in promoting collabor collaboration for safe living and addressing social issues and concern in schools, at homes, and in community. So, mauni ato ang um, slogan, Bayanihan para sa paaralan. Number four, the national kick-off program shall be held on August 3, 2021 to be hosted by the Schools Division of Tagum City and Region 6, Regional Offices, ROs, and Schools Division Offices, SDOs, behold their own virtual kickoff ceremonies during the Brigada Escuela Kickoff Week from August 3 to August 7 to launch the Brigada Escuela and the respective areas after the National Kickoff Program. The implementation of Brigada Escuela shall comply with the required health standards which includes following social distancing measures and practicing proper hygiene consistent with the Interagency Task Force on Emerging Infectious Diseases Health Protocols, the Department of Health or DOH Health Standards, Local and National Quarantine Rules, and all the relevant protocols as detailed in DepEd and DepEd Task Force COVID-19 issuance. The traditional concept of Brigada Escuela, which involves physical cleaning, painting, repainting, and doing minor repairs, with will shall not happen during the Brigada Escuela implementation period this year. However, Considering the schools are being used in the preparation of the learning packets, including the picking up and its warning of the same by the parents, physical cleaning and disinfection may be allowed during the two weeks before the opening of classes in public schools, depending on the prevailing local risk classification and community quarantine guidelines, if allowed, the school shall strictly comply with protocols of social distancing and implement precautionary measures consistent, consistent with the IATF health protocols, DOH product protection protocols, local quarantine rules, and all other relevant protocols provided in DepEd and DepEd Task Force COVID-19 issuance. Number 7. The Brigada Escuela activity shall focus on preparation and highlight partnership initiatives and complement the BELCP among other efforts. This will ensure the qu that quality basic education will continue despite the challenges posed by COVID-19 situation. Details of the implementation are provided in crucial number, number one in, of this memorandum. The schedule of activities for the 2021 Brigada Escuela shall be as follows. Activities, these are the activities and the schedule. For national kickoff Brigada Escuela, that is August 3, 2021. 
Regional Division Kickoff Program during BE Kickoff Week on August 4 to 7, 2021. Regada Escuela Implementation and Monitoring of Schools, August 3 to September 30, 2021. Submission of Brigada Escuela Accomplishment Report by Schools Divisions, October 30, 2021 and accomplishment reports by regions November 30, 2021. So Brigada Escuela Award that is January January to February 2021. Teaching personnel are entitled to earn vacation to service credits arising from their active involvement as a member of the school Brigada Escuela working communities and, and or voluntary services in the Brigada Escuela activities. Teachers shall earn and one day service credit for accumulated eight hours of service as community member or volunteer in the school preparation and partnership engagement activities but not to exceed a total of 10 days service credits for further details of the granting of service credits for teachers please refer to dep ed order number 53 series of 2003 titled upgrading updated guidelines of grant of vacation service credits of teachers, particularly on the item number 1-D sub items B and K and item number 1-F, which contains relevant provisions of the grant of service credits. The 10. Brigada Pagbasa. As part of Brigada Escuela is an after-school breeding program that envisions bringing together education partners and experts to help all learners read and become functionally literate. The Brigada Pagbasas will serve as a platform to synergize efforts and resources to address education-related challenges, especially on literacy and numeracy. It will also create opportunities for all stakeholders to contribute possible solutions to the current gaps in the country's education systems, especially in equipping the learners with 21st century skills. Number 11. In preparation for the implementation of Brigada Pagmasa, the Division Partnership Focal Persons are encouraged to conduct the inventory of school reading programs with partnership components that may be part of Brigada Pagbasa. The detailed guidelines for the implementation of Brigada Pagbasa shall be provided in the separate issuance. The school head shall ensure that all donated items classified as property, plant, and equipment are properly recorded in the book of accounts as stipulated in DepEd Order Number 82, Series of 20, 20, uh, 2011, titled guidelines on the proper recording of all donated properties. The documents required to support the recording in the book of accounts are as follows. A. Inventory custodians leave for donated properties with a value below 15,000 enclosure number 3 and B. Property acknowledgement receipt for donated properties above 15,000 enclosure number 4. So for more information, please contact the number uh, the information below and immediate dissemination of this memorandum is desired by our DepEd Secretary Lenor Magtolis Briones. Now in light of the current COVID-19 situation, this year's Brigada Escuela shall, shall ensure support for the provision of learning opportunities while ensuring health, safety, and protection of the well-being of learners, teachers, and personnel. So Brigada Escuela shall play an important role mechanism to enable schools to catch up with the expectation for multiple learning delivery mod modalities. So aside from the usual activities conducted in the past Brigada Escuela, school head must ensure the following among other related initiatives. A. Coordinate with local government units, LGUs or non-government organization and volunteers to help and disinfect buildings, classrooms and other facilities. B. Engage partners to raise the availability of the following items in the school during the Brigada Escuela. Printing of COVID-19 and sanitation, proper hand washing, 
hygiene information materials, printing of materials, and provision of supplies for distance learning for the learners, teachers, and parents. Example, bin paper, worksheets, notebooks, pad paper, ball pens, pencils, crayons, and coloring materials, and others. Hand sanitizing materials such as rubbing alcohol, antibacterial or germicidal soap. Medical devices and equipment such as infrared and digital thermometer, pulse oximeter, fingertip thermal scanner, stethoscope, blood pressure monitor machine, washable face mask, surgical face mask, face shield and, and surgical gloves, cleaning tools, materials or disinfectants that may be used and disinfect the learning areas such as spray tag, disinfectant, spray or disinfecting bleach, foot bath and multivitamins capsule tablets or syrups for the ed personnel and learners. Ensure that psychological first aid and other psychological interventions and debriefing are conducted in partnership with stakeholders during the implementation of Brigada Escuela. Conduct orientation activities with teachers, partners, parents, teachers, association or PTA and learners on DepEd's Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan or BLCP with special focus on the implementation of DepEd multiple learning delivery modalities, the use of computer-mediated communication strategy in conducting of sided activities is highly encouraged. So I think this one, we already did this uh, last school year. Okay, first, encourage parents and possible collaboration with the school to provide support for the, for the continuation of learning opportunities. Second, encourage parents in the promotion of the new school system, the new role and increased involvement of the parents in the learning of their child. children are essential to augment available resources and technology in the community. Enga Third, engage partners in the promotion and provision of distance learning delivery modalities such as local radio, TV station, and other available media as form of Brigada Escuela and partnership initiative to deliver the curriculum. The school heads may identify resources on partnerships necessary to ha for high tech, low tech, or non tech aid for learning. Next is coordinate with the concerned DepEd units uh, on the possible implementation of Gulayan, Satahanan, or Urban Vegetables Gardening at home as part of Brigada Escuela and school family community partnerships to promote sustainable food supplies at homes as well as on communicating to stakeholders on how they can support the school emergency and contingency to ensure resiliency. Okay, so this one, we already also, we all, we also did this one before and we encourage our students to uh, do this gulayan sa tahanan. Okay, collaborative with various stakeholders to support the implementation on the BELCP. Now, realign Brigada Pagbasa in their BELCP. Partnerships appreciation and other school-based initiatives. The schools are encouraged to include the partnership for wash in schools, wins, and disaster preparedness in their Brigada Escuela work plan. Okay, so para na ni sa uh, school uh, focal person and also to uh, the school head. Then the schools are encouraged to do document all their efforts to implement the new way of conducting Brigada Escuela. All partnership initi initiatives and generated resources shall be reported in a deep ed partnership database based system starting June 1, 2021 to September 30, 2021. So, Kanisiang uh, DPDS. Actually, we did this uh, before weekly, but now maybe it will be uh, conducted every month. No Brigada Escuela fee shall be collected from parents, guardians, or solicited from other volunteers and stakeholders, so we should not accept money. Pursuant to Dead Ed Order Number 6 Series of 2012, titled 
guidelines on the adoption and implementation of public health policies on tobacco control and protection against tobacco industry interference, receiving assistance or support from companies and other players in the tobacco industry for Brigada Escuela is not allowed. So here, we are not allowed to receive any assistance or support from tobacco company or industry. Okay, next, pursuant to order number uh, at Dep Ed Order Number 48, Series of 2018, titled Prohibition on Ele Electioning and Partisan Political Activity, the schools may be not receive any forms of contribution donations from official candidates for the local and national elections. Okay, so mo na siya na na ang uh, election, we should not receive any amount from them. Okay. School Safety and Preparedness Guide In view of the implementation of the 2021 Brigada Escuela, this School Safety and Preparedness Guide is issued to provide guidance to schools and education partners in ensuring safety and preparedness of our learners and personnel before, during, and after emergencies. Enumerated below is a list of recommended activities that may contribute to a safer school. School heads need, the, need to identify which of among those listed below are most appropriate and important for their schools. The school head may also identify other measures that may add up to the list. Now, here are the list of recommended activities. First, facilitate the assessment of school building structure and electrical wiring and make necessary repairs and or upgrades to prevent unnecessary incidents. 2. Repair minor classroom damages such as broken windows, doors, blackboard, roofs, and other furnitures, and etc. 3. Install appropriate and available fire suppression, including fire extinguishers, water source, and relevant indigenous materials. 4. Ensure that corridors and pathways are, are, are unobstructed and that all sharp, protruding objects which may cause harm to learners are removed. 5. Clean and clear drain drainage to prevent clogging, cover drainage canals, and provide necessary warnings. 6. Cordon off and post safety signages for ongoing construction and finished damaged and condemned buildings. 7. Secure cabinets and drawers and ensure the heavy objects are below head level. 8. Post safety measures to be observed in laboratories, workshops, and other materials requiring the same. 9. Prepare the evacuation or exit plan and post directional signage on every floor of the building. 10. Identify evacuation areas and classroom that may be used as temporary shelter shelters during disasters and emergencies. 11. Prone trees to avoid entangle, entanglement for electrical wiring and avoid potential harm to life and property. Stakeholder Engagement Strategy The occurrence of disaster effects school's operation to the point of depriving our learners access to quality education. While we have improved our classroom standards, strengthened and co our coordination with partners for disaster response and capacity building, and established the Disaster Risk Reduction Management or DRR service, there is a need to heighten support for school-level implementation of disaster risk reduction. A. The disaster preparedness of school is an important factor to achieve resilience in our communities. DepEd through the 2021 Brigada Escuela seeks to, main, seeks to mainstream disaster preparedness principles in redeeming schools for the opening of class more than the usual menu of more than the usual menu of provisions for, for schools such as putting up fences painting, roofing, among others. DepEd shall provide a list of preparedness measures that prepare may support in various capacities.
So, Brigada Escuela Best Implementing School Award. So, to give due recognition to schools whose efforts in the implementation of, of the Brigada Escuela program are exemplary, the Department of Education shall be awarding the Brigada Escuela Best Implementing School Award based on the following guidelines. So, the school division offices through the Social Mobilization and Networking Section or SUCMOV under the School Governments and Operation Division or SGOD shall recognize all elementary and secondary schools that implemented Brigada Escuela from August 3 to September 30, 2021 through the awarding of the Certificate of Recognition and their compliance with the implementation guidelines and the engaging partners to participate in the implementation of the school and division basic education learning continuity plans. The, the search of 2021 Brigade Escuela Best Implementing Schools shall be notified on the framework relative to ongoing pandemic situation. The framework includes the engagement of stakeholders and addressing problems, queries, and other concerns in the preparation of the start of the classes. All Brigada Escuela activities shall highlight the partnership initiatives that complement the implementation of the Brigada uh, of the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan. The regional offices shall contextualize the selection criteria for the Brigada Escuela Best Implementing Schools Award based on the following general criteria. Brigada Escuela Partnership Engagement Activities, that is 40%, this pertains to the kind of impact of partners, partnership engagement activities which may be measured in terms of the number of learners, teachers, non-teaching personnel who benefited from the activities. Resource generated rel relative to the new Brigada Escuela framework that is 30%. This pertains to the resources generated to support the BE LCP implementation and health and safety protocols. This shall be based on the prevailing market value of the items and reflect equivalent to the volunteer man hours generated from the partnership activities. Okay, so next, by an hand effort to support the BALCP implementation that is 30%. So this shall reflect the impact of Brigada Escuela in terms of community participation and level of awareness on the education programs. This shall include the response of the community in making conducive learning spaces and homes and the partnership initiative for literacy and numeracy and the school division superintendent SDS with the assistance of the SGOD and the division partnership focal person shall be allowed to exercise this sound discussion as to how to allocate the scores to be received by the Brigada Escuela implementing schools based on the aforementioned general criteria. Okay, aside from the traditional Brigada Escuela Best Implementing Schools Award, the SDO shall also identify recipient of the Special Brigada Escuela Award, among other unique ways of recognizing the effort of the school, such as Best School Community Home Partnerships, Best Home Learning Spaces, Best Partnership Engagement Activity, Best Brigada Escuela Collaborative or Collaboration at the School District and Most Prepared School among others. Okay, now let's proceed to Kusogsa Sugbo. So this, the name of the organization is the Division of Cebu Province and the program title is Kusogsa Sugbo which means Keeping Upbeat with Stakeholders, Outstanding and Great Contribution. So the target of clientele here is the DepEd Cebu Province Schools. So target date is school year 2021 and 2022. So Monisha a new program. So now this is the program description or program statement. 
advocating for stakeholders engagement and collaboration the new the the department of education cebu province division through its sgod social mobilization and networking unit recognizing the exemplary, exemplary assistance of all external partners to learners and teachers this school year through its partner as partners appreciation program dubbed as kusug uh, sa during the implementation of the this year's brigada escuela so this is the new program kusug sa sugbo so kusug means keeping upbeat with stakeholders outstanding and great contribution so with the theme celebrating partnership amidst the pandemic Cebu province division acknowledged and will continue awarding a plaque of appreciation of all the partners organization for their continued support in the basic education especially in the implementation of the division basic education learning continuity plan now here are the purpose of the program stakeholders recognized as partner in progress so quality education is a fundamental right that every state is obliged to provide for its citizenry despite inadequacies of resources that education agency is experiencing one potent alternative to address the mentioned concern is stopping greater involvement of the private sector including non-government organization business corporation and communities by letting them know that they add strengths as well as our needs for them to appropriately partner with us by sharing their financial and material resources so what to a purpose okay now productive collaborate collaboration acknowledged parents and teachers critical role in honing um, holistically the potential of children the knowledge understanding and empathy come not only with the recognition of the children as the central purpose for the collaboration but also the need maintain rules and relationship that are comprehensive dynamic and differentiated alone we can do this little together we can do so much okay now each of the many stakeholders plays his role effectively in order to help our children learn better and reach their fullest potential the parents teachers administrators and community have the ultimate aim for the learners to achieve their desired outcomes of education a stakeholders is anyone who is involved in the effort to achieve the welfare and success of a school it may also be collective entities which have personal professional civic and financial interest or corporate social responsibility of the school with their expected engagement being considered vital for the success and improvement of the school and the involvement and great partnership of parents teachers and community members are very evident in the present situation of SDO Cebu province wherein several laudable projects have been forged through the collaborative efforts of all of all internal and exter external stakeholders so stakeholders are given tribute every year as recognition of their contribution and gratitude of their willingness to share their resources so indeed great partnership has incredible impact of the successful implementation of program and project in education which is urgent to the statement of henry ford which he post says that coming together is the beginning keeping together is progress and working together is success okay okay now let's move on to legal basis so adopt a school program extending a hand towards educational development so adapt a school program which started in 1998 was created to help generate investment and support to education outside the mainstream funding and the national budget they are enjoyed 
and join to support the schools in any following areas infrastructure, health and nutrition, teaching skills development, computer and science lab equipment and learning support. Okay, under the program legally instituted by the passage of RA 8525, private entities local either local or overseas are given the opportunity to become partners in education through their assistance in the upgrading and modernization of public elementary and high schools. In return, they are to enjoy additional tax incentives 150% as they implement their project. Additional adoption process. A memorandum of agreement MOA will specify the details of adoption between the adop adopting entity and the head of the school concerned. MOA is subject to review and approval of the school's superintendents. So a standard and guidelines for review of adoption shall be formulated by the coordinating council or the uh, assistance for the application for tax credits by the adopting entity. The agreement shall last for at least two years. So schools that make it to the least are the less privileged. Those who have limited resources but have very large students' population. Most of them experience classroom shortage, insufficient textbook and instructional materials and overcrowding. Schools in low-income municipalities, those that are poor but have high-performing students, and those with undernourished students are also given due considerations. Cards may still adapt the following categories. <laughs> okay, for elementary level, okay, so we are not going to discuss the elementary level. So let's proceed to secondary level. First, small school categories, small school, medium school, large schools, and mega schools. So next column is the number of teachers and the next is the number a uh, national the number next column is the number of teachers from NCR okay small school from national 15 and below for the NCR 40 and below medium school 16 to 30 then for NCR 41 to 80 then large school 31 to 50 for the NCR 81 to 120 mega school 51 and above and one for NCR 121 and above okay all forms of regarded escuela awards at the SDO level shall be reported to the regional office RO through the education support service division ESSD the ESSD shall submit the list of awards and awardees to the EPS at the central office. So SD, the SDOs and ROs may conduct the Brigada Escuela Award starting January 2022 using the downloaded Program Support Funds PSF on Buildings Partnership and Linkages Program BPLP or Local Funds. Okay, in regards with the Brigada Pagbasa Program or Reading Comp, so I have here the workshop date, venue, training goal. So the Brigada Pagbasa Educational Technical Program aims to contribute to the goal. Children aged age uh, 5 to 17 years have increased learning outcomes and hopes to contribute in addressing the root cause of poor learning outcomes coupled with improving the mechanism that supports children's learning development. So the goal of this training is to capacitate Brigada Pagbasa partners in ongoing and engaging communities and key implementing stakeholders on additional teaching and learning materials creation and development methods in order to support an abundance and variation of locally relevant teaching and learning materials in the conduct of after school reading interventions to support literacy development in a variety setting on in the community and now for the specific objectives 
By the end of the virtual training workshop, participants will be able to A. Gain new knowledge and skills pertaining to literacy development, beginning reading, and actively contribute to the creation of appropriate reading materials. B. Support Brigada Pagbasa project by promoting print rich environments and reading activities support the development of reading skills and in young children fostering love for reading okay c develop locally relevant literacy materials to increase the available reading materials in the community d ignite in the enthusiasm to establish reading hub in and out of the school e share and apply knowledge and skills with other teachers to improve the children learning outcome of the struggling learning so methodologies lectures discussion and workshop so these are the following methodologies that we uh, should do during the uh, during the uh, establishing of brigada sa pagbasa or Brigada Pagbasa. Thank you so much for listening. This is your focal present, Raymond Barberas. Again, I hope we will work together and make a difference. Thank you so much for tuning in. Up next is a series of pictures highlighting the preparation of Brigada Escuela 2021. Inaanyayahan ko po ang lahat na makilahok at makisama sa ating Brigada Eskwela upang lalong maging handa, malinis at ligtas ang ating mga paaralan. Magkaisa tayo at maging bahagi ng Brigada Eskwela para sa ating mga anak, mga apo at mga mag-aaral. Isulong natin ang likalidad at mapagpalayang edukasyon para sa lahat. Ko at ikaw, tayong lahat. Tara na, Brigada Escuela. Santa Lucia National High School is now preparing for the opening of the school year 2021-2022. This year's Brigada Escuela still focuses on the health and safety of the students, teachers, and other stakeholders. With this, we need your help in providing quality education to the students amidst the pandemic. We're humbly looking for 
partners, donors who can provide the essential items the school needs. We encourage you to support the school in these challenging times and ultimately realize its goals, mission, and vision. Together, we can achieve and do more. Thank you, and we keep on praying for the safety of everyone. You can also reach us through Santa Lucia National High School Facebook page and contact number provided. Thank you and God bless. Behind every successful program or activity are individuals who generously contributed their time and efforts. So before we end, let us hear the acknowledgement from Mr. Rowan V. Bakan, our school and district event coordinator. Greetings of peace and prosperity. It is indeed alone we can do so little, but together, we can do so much. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Santa Lucia National High School, headed by the principal, Mrs. Cecilia R. Espina, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to all the people who are one way or another contributed in bringing forth success in the implementation of the Gada Escuela 2021 with the theme Bayanihan para sa paaralan To the father of the municipality of Asturias The Honorable Mayor Antonio T. Pintor To the Barangay Captain of Barangay Santa Lucia The Honorable Loarne Tumarong To the President of the Parents Teachers Association of Santa Lucia National High School Mr. Rosalio S. Flor Sr. And to all the donors Thank you for extending an all-out support in making Santa Lucia National High School ready for the school year 2021-2022. Amid this pandemic that all of us have greatly suffered, yet you unselfishly offered help to make sure that every Lucinian deserves a quality education. Honestly, there is no big or small, less or more in giving. For it is not about how much you give, but how much love you put into giving. To the Almighty God, thank you for all the blessings that you provided to all of us. Thank you for allowing this activity to happen and become successful. Without you, we are nothing. Once again, thank you everyone and Godspeed. This has been your host, Estella Jorza, saying, The pandemic may have altered our lives and slowed down our progress, but it cannot change our goals and it cannot stop us from moving forward. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and healthy. God bless us all.